First, the king's crown of gold. The border, garnished with six palaces, five sapphires, five pointed diamonds, 20 rubies, 19 pearls. The crown was astonishingly decorated. There were 344 jewels and gems and pearls, 21 sapphires, 2 emeralds, 27 diamonds, 233 pearls of all sorts of different sizes. I was working on the crown jewel project in the Tower of London and I was asked at that period by Historic Royal Palaces whether I would be interested in recreating Henry VIII's crown. What we've ended up with is an object far more spectacular than we could possibly have imagined, which I guess just goes to show that if you want to make a crown, you should ask the crown jeweller. The crown is hugely important to Hampton Court because Hampton Court was created by the Tudors as a place of royal ceremony. And Henry wore this crown when he was participating in some of the richest and most lavish moments in that kind of court ceremony. After the English Civil War, it melted down by Parliament and turned into coin and all the jewels are sold off in packets. The crown is a fabulous object that's going to dazzle visitors, but it works a lot harder than that interpretively and really allows us to uh, tell this amazing dynasty story um, where Henry VIII um, walked with his crown and processed with his crown at Hampton Court Palace. Oh.